Hey, what's going on guys? Look at that, isn't she beautiful? Um, been a lot lately. G'day Clinton, how are you buddy? Cold, cold. Look at that, isn't she just a beautiful girl? She's got a King of Toe window banner. I drove her to work this morning. She's, um, where's the keys? What do you reckon? Bit of SS action today? How could you not want SS action? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Obviously don't drive it enough. She's a beautiful old girl. Look at that. I'll go in the shed now guys and we'll check out what um what I got up to yesterday and today. The old captain just left. And um yeah. Hey guys. Um yeah the coppers were just here. Some boys come to pay me some money for some tires, skid tires from yesterday, and the coppers followed him in. But alright. So um g'day Daniel, how are you? Um, Web man, how's things, dude? And they're too hot, cold cokes, that's the go. All right, so what we've got going on, dudes? Okay, so um, Leith's going to come in tomorrow to play with the hardtop and the 460, so we'll have progress on this tomorrow. Um, I ended up maybe yesterday done a deal on this motorbike, okay, because the, we wanted a motorbike motor, which is a 1,000cc Kawasaki, to go in... Have you guys seen the um, thousand, the Mazda thousand Ute down the back here? I'll show you. Yeah, because we've been me and Leaf been talking about it for a while, but we wanted a pretty big sort of um, road bike motor. So we um, got this Ute here, this little Mazda thousand Ute. So the thousand cc um, road bike motor will go in this beast. Like she's pretty good. This thing, like all the interior and that's. Spot on. So we actually have a a motor for this now. This thing will be a weapon. What do you guys reckon of a motorbike motor in um in the little Ute? What do you reckon? My day's going good so far today. I didn't get over here as early as I wanted to. Captain come over just before, and we sat a lot of the four link together. So I thought I'd show you guys now before I go too much further on where we're at with the hardtop, and go from there. How's your Christmas going, guys? Is all Many of you is back at work. Killer Pandas, thank you very much for the super chat, dude. I really appreciate the support. Um, Patrick, yes, it would be lovely to rotary the ute, but where do I find a rotary at the right money? You know, like a, a rotary. Daniel, dude, thank you very much, mate, for the super chat. I appreciate it. it you're the absolute legends, guys. Um, one day we will do a rotary. I do have that Mazda 808 out there that you saw up on the stack. Now, that will most probably be a rotary if I can find one. Um, yeah, but one has to come up with the right money. I'm not going to go and spend five or six grand on a rotary when I don't know. Anyway, that aside, what's going to happen with it is 1000 cc Kawasaki motor in the ute, which will be mad. Um, okay, hard top. So I have the diff in place, which is in place. This side here is tacked together, okay. Clinton, thank you very much, dude. Really, really appreciate the support. Absolute legends, you guys. Um, okay, so the mounts are tacked in place. That one's tacked in place. Um, I've chopped them down a bit to lose the third one. We're actually gonna, I'm gonna build a chassis strengthener that'll run all the way through along the chassis. And then I'll tr put a triangle piece here to strengthen that up. And on this side here, I'll, um, put a big, I'll gusset and bracket the today, so that one's all good. Um, I don't have the coilovers for the back, but next step is you'll see there where those marks are here. Um, I'm gonna have to shorten up our other, these are other poles, okay? Now this was a universal kit, and realistically I should have just made it all myself because none of it's fit. Um, yeah, so they're gonna sit, uh, that'll sit to about there somewhere, okay? So you see that's, does that make sense to you guys? We shall hold it in place. So that means we can, that way, the diff will be adjustable. Okay, so where's the diff? Where 
can, how can you see it? All right, there. So because of these here, you can adjust them there and there, which will give us Alexander Warren, thank you very much, dude, all the way from New Zealand with Super Chats. Thank you, guys. Really appreciate it. Okay, so we'll be able to pivot our pinion angle, okay? Once that goes up anyway, it's actually going to alter that pinion angle to give us our three degrees once that goes up because this is still sitting fairly low. Like, that's not our right height is not really set, if you see what I mean. That'll come up higher. Anyway, you'll see as we progress, guys. So that's it there. You can adjust that to move it up and down, okay? And then I will end up boxing in the back of the, this, this section here, which will then have a mount for the coilover, which will run up the back, and we'll probably cut out this section here and brace through the boot to put our coilover in to set up our rear end. Now, does that make sense, guys? Do we have any questions? Does anyone want to know what's going on? Does that, does that make sense to you guys? I would like you sort of to, um, to understand what's going on. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm more than willing. Now, this is the first full link I've ever done. Um, so I'm no pro, but you just gotta have a bash, guys. You know, it'll cost thousands to get someone to fit that up and then go from there. And my next step today, okay, once I've got all that tacked in place, um, I'm gonna start on, I've got a power steering rack. Now these things normally run, okay, a steering box that goes in here, and that's my steering shaft up in there. Now, obviously this, the, it normally runs a drag link across here that goes onto the steering box, and it's not the best steering system. So that's a Commodore steering rack with power steering. I'm gonna try and mount, well not try, I am going to mount, I'm gonna make things that come off here and here to mount the steering rack and then we'll shorten the tie rods to go to the two steering arms that but at the moment you can see see how that's on an angle can you see that there I've got to get that straight but I can't get that straight until I sort out the gearbox mount so once I finish this back end I'm going to get the gearbox jack which is what that is see that there all right Yes, electric power steering for sure. I think it'll be electric power steering, Brody. Again, like the Jag. I'll mount, I'll support that up, square it up, and then chop that down until I can get it down. Because as you can see, there's not a lot of clearance how it is now. I've started to chop that tunnel piece out there, but I'm going to try not to actually chop that out. But yeah. Um, all right. Okay. Hope you're in your family. Yeah, um, they've had a good time there at home. Nerelee's playing with her computer and stuff. Young Mia got a little tablet and she's sitting there playing games and did everyone see the fart can that I put on the other thing? Um, yes, Brody, I think I'll run the electric power steering, the Astra stuff again. Um, I want to run air conditioning on this thing, but where the, where the engine mounts go to get it into the Valiant is where the um, aircon compressor sits. So, yeah, just, yeah, and we may have to do left to right hand side starter motor conversion. Yeah, just every single piece that you touch when you do a conversion, um, you have to change. But that's all good. It, it's, uh, I'd rather do this than drive them, to be honest. But yeah, hey, what do you do? Um, it's all good to see. Yeah, well, that's it. It's yeah. Um, would an 85 VK steering rack into a 65 HD special? Uh, do you know? Okay, um, they do do steering rack conversions. If you're V, is your VK steering rack a manual steering rack or a um, or a power steering rack? Okay, because the trouble you run into with some of the early steering racks, see on here, this one's called a double D. See how it's got the double D piece like that? Now I think that, and then it's got a little slot there where your bolt goes. The reason, the reason I'm using that steering rack is because. The other, like the VN style, early VN style ones have splines on them, okay, which makes it a lot harder to line it up and get it to work. So when you do pick your steering rack, because the steering rack will be relatively the same size as this, it's very hard to get a manual steering rack. Like if that VK one is a manual one, it would be pretty good. A lot of guys used um, Chimera steering racks back in the day because they were quite, quite short. Um, and VL steering racks, the hot rod guys use them a lot as well because of the size. So... Tyrone, yes, your VK one may work, 
but just research whether the spline setup's easy and lengthwise and for your power steering. Okay, um, you can put the 1000cc bike motor in a, in a Mini. Um, I don't have a Mini, um, but I have a Mazda 1000 Ute. And the Mazda 1000 Ute is a full chassis, so it's, um, yeah. But as, as always, I try and use what I have. Um, and that makes it affordable for me to build stuff because I have stuff. You know what I mean? Um, if I've got to go and buy every single thing, like if I go, right, I've got this motor, but I've got these five cars here, but I'll go buy another one to do that. Does that make sense? You just don't get stuff done. I, I try to use what I've got. Hey, Tony, how are you, mate? Um, how's it going? Looks like things are coming together. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much, Tony. I appreciate it, buddy. Um, yeah, I don't know. Oh getting old trying to get up guys but yeah so the four links coming together guys i'm very very happy with progress getting getting done on these cars i'm looking forward this year to getting back into editing and producing some good content um in talking um where did power when i did power steering we used a, a 100 manual steering racks races hot rods yep yeah yep the manual one's the way to go secret squirrel but then Look at that, isn't she beautiful? Well, she really is. It's just a beautiful car. It's gonna be a shame if I sell this to buy a Monaro, eh? I'll have to build another one. Oh well, what do you do? It's just a beautiful car. Anyway, all right. So there's a bit of an update, guys, on what's going on and what I want to achieve today. Um, when the other day, um, the other day I was talking about changing things up and perhaps not flitting from job to job and um, 2,000 cash, what's that for mate? Um, yeah, um, it, you guys, it sounds like you guys actually enjoy the variety and things happening. So the way I might do it is projects such as the hard top and the fair lane, or should I say the hard top and the fair lane, as edited videos and edit the videos put three two or three of those edited videos out a week but the live streams in the afternoons can be my ocd can't help myself but oh guys look at this this come in and we can have a look at that stuff daily or every second day because i'm not going to have to edit how's that sound so you'll get in the afternoon or during the day there'll be a quick pop-up live stream going oh dudes look at this this come in we just played with this this is running but then you'll get your edited videos of the big builds like the hard top and that what do you reckon does that sound all right that's the best of both worlds i reckon what do you reckon um yeah do i have instagram yes just king of toe crew if you put in king of toe crew i do put up a fair bit of photos of stuff that comes through on instagram and there's also the king of toe facebook page as well as the king of toe parts finder um live site as well but yeah um do i have any ke 55 corollas or anything like that um chris no not at the moment no early corollas i don't think not at the moment we do get them from time to time they do turn up though but yeah all right um toe game one day you have a daewoo the next day you have a gt falcon that's it toe king that is exactly it buddy so I just, yeah, I think it might work that way. I think it'll work quite well. Um, sounds good. Great live streams and builds, road trips. I, I want to do some more road trips coming up this year for sure. Um, yeah, I okay, can. sounds like a plan. Love the content. Awesome. Thank you very much, Sean. Appreciate the support. Merry Christmas. Um, drank and ate too much, struggling to move. Mate, I've got to start back in the gym because I'm actually putting on so much weight. I love this toolbox, eh? Who watched the Jukes of Hazard when they were younger? I suppose a lot of you guys are younger now. <laughs> but yeah she's a beast love it yeah all right well guys um if you're offering 2k for the ss you dream oh is that what he meant like that's just retarded but anyway that's just it's not even worth um it's like when people i had a bloke message me the other day when i got the tx3 and the usual thing it's um i've got this car make me an offer and it's like mate i don't really like offering but if the money's right tell me how much you want and i'll buy it and then once again it's not that um it's made me an offer, basically waste my time, and the car was never for sale anyway. Just, I don't, just don't get it. It's when you see those ads, make me an offer. It just means I actually don't want to sell the car. Yeah, the General Lee's awesome. I, I love the General Lee, but not enough to paint this thing orange and put the big O1 on the door. But yeah, I don't know. 
I don't think these headers are going to fit either, guys, for these ones here. Um, exhaust is going to be a major problem with this car. So I don't think we really have an option, but to see there's just no room up this side. Once you've got that torsion bar and you've got a starter motor in here as well, like it's just, there's just no room at all. So this side here though, there's plenty of room. So I don't think we have a choice, but to maybe, I hate saying it, but run turbos. Um, I don't know. I don't really want to put turbos on this, but um, if I can't get an exhaust through easily, what do you do? Um, customs, custom setup heads maybe. What, what do you mean by custom? Um, Red, love the content, um, tuning in all the way from New... Awesome, Cleveland. Um, welcome, all the way from New Zealand. If you're offering 2K, if you have your dream, yeah, that's it. Yeah, I don't know, but we'll just, I'll just keep working through. Once I straighten that up, because the motor does have to go that way a touch, it'll give me a bit more room. I looked into those tubular front ends last night for the different steering racks and brake setups and stuff, but they're four and a half grand just for the pipe um, thingos. A uh, mate of mine put an LS3 into an SV90 Stato, sweet. Um, everything went to plan except the fuel line conversion. Always, yeah, that's it. There's always something that grabs you. Like I've still got to do fuel system on this and there's a lot to do, but it'll be, once this is done, it's gonna be a beautiful car. Yeah, it'll drive a lot nicer getting rid of the leaf springs out of the back and running that four link. Um, that, that's gonna make it drive a lot better. The front end's got all new ball joints and bushes and stuff through it. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. It'll just... We'll get there. I just love that I don't have to do rust repairs. I just cannot believe that this thing is not rusted out. You just cannot find... And even that thing there, like, this is pretty good too. It's got a little bit, but nothing like um, a lot of the other old Holdens and Fords. This was a much-loved car from a, uh, another engine builder, apparently, on the Sunshine Coast, built this years ago with a pretty hot Windsor in it. But um, she just went into a bit of um, disrepair. But there you go. Um, all right, love the Fairlane Red. Can't wait to see the rest of the build. Okay, so tomorrow with the Fairlane, we, there was a while ago, I can't remember his name. I'm absolutely atrocious with names, guys. Um, he's going to come in and actually do the live streams for us. Leith's in tomorrow to work on the Fairlane, get the engine bay painted, and maybe even get the engine sat in tomorrow depending on what he can get apart on the big block. So that's going to be good to get that moving forward. I should have the diff all mounted in this today. Um, hopefully the engine sitting in properly and the gearbox mount done. Maybe um, have the steering rack mocked up. So yeah, well, there's a bit of an update guys. I'm going to get stuck back in. And um, yeah, yesterday I got nothing done. I finished the live stream with you guys. Young blokes turned up to buy a heap of skid tires done that and then sold a car, but then had to help him do stuff on the car. And I didn't leave it till nine o'clock, but still got bugger all done. So just the way it goes sometimes, but today seems to be pretty quiet around the place. And um, yeah, even though I want to go home because I get to drive my car, but what do you do? There's a Kingswood in Perth for a hundred dollars. It's rusty and has a very straight body. Would be awesome to put a V8 in it. Um, doesn't have any holes in it too it's just if it's a, if it's the model car that you love buy it start building it doesn't matter if it doesn't happen tomorrow and just yeah sit it aside same as what i do you sit them aside until bits and pieces come up and it gives you a purpose while you're scrolling through facebook to put parts together and eventually you build it nice and cheap but yeah but i would say if you're not passionate about that model of car don't even bother start building it because you're not going to finish it. You've got to be passionate about it. This hard top is a, is a car that I've wanted for a long time. And ever since Diamond Darrell's Fairlane, I've wanted one of these Fairlanes and a big block. Who doesn't want a big block? Like, come on, you know, it's just freaking awesome. All right. Well, guys, I am going to do some work. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I'll see you in a couple of hours, eh? I'll, um... I'll get this motor sitting properly and do the thing out and I might show you about the clearance and that on the pipes. What do you reckon? Um, the VNSS Ute is just out the back here. It's um, where it's where, where um, a Honda Integra Pro. I did get a Honda the other day, but it was an auto and I don't think I'm going to touch it. Um, we've sort of started on this thing just by getting the kit and that off it. Um, I'm waiting on a manifold. We've got a converter for it. 
Um, by mid-year, that thing will be going. We will, um, Jono, dude, <laughs> mate, has everyone met Jono? Jono is the most generous bloke you will ever, ever meet in your life. I swear to God, he is so generous and so supportive of our channel. Um, Jono, mate, Jono, Jono come up and said hello and stayed with us for a couple of days. He bought the formula and road tripped her back to Sydney. Um, what a bloke, yeah. Just, yeah, Jono, mate. <laughs> Unbelievable, dude. Um, stuff you wouldn't look at twice 10 years ago was worth money now. Well, that's it. I'm very lucky that 10 years ago, like I paid five grand for that VNSS out there um, 10 years ago because the VNSS is what I wanted. I desperately wanted a VNSS and that was before anyone wanted them. Um, Jono, like, mate, speechless, dude. I don't know if you've seen what we're up to, but... Um, yeah, putting the four link in, Jono. Just got it all, well, this side's mocked up. I haven't welded this side in yet. This side's welded in. Got to do shock mounts and do the other triangulated piece today. That's what I'm getting up to right now. But um, yeah, we didn't get a chance to get my SS out while Jono was, um, Jono was down, but there she is, Jono. She's out and about. Sits a fair bit lower than the formula, doesn't it? Like it just, look at the back, how it tucks those wheels heaps further. Isn't it amazing how just the car sitting differently, just, yeah, just two so different cars, you know? But yeah, I don't know. It's got the SS style um, King of Toe sticker, see? Because it matches the, that there, matches that there, see? Look at that. Bloody inventive I am, don't you reckon? <laughs> it is a beautiful car. It'll be sad if it does go, if I do end up selling it to buy a Monaro, but, um, I don't know. What do you do? We've got another two in the backyard to build, so I don't want to do them this year. Got a lot to do this year, haven't we? Um, do a startup. Um, oh, sometimes you've got to sell them to move on to other things. You know what I mean? It's um, yeah. Didn't want to start for me a minute ago. It sits around too much. That's why. Let's see what she's going to do, eh? I don't know why it's doing that. I don't know why the belts are squealing either. I drove it right over here, I don't know why it's hard to start today. That's what happens when they sit around though, that's the thing. But it's too good to daily I reckon, it just get wrecked. Like I hate that on the spoiler, it's got the original SS spoiler and they're made of rubber. See how the paint cracks on the back there? I hate that. It drives me mental. But yeah. No, it's a brand new fuel pump in it, guys. It's not a fuel pump. The fuel pump's brand new in it. And it if, if anything, it'd be... Um, all that got changed in it. Remember we done that car show not long ago in it? Not even 12 months ago. Um, it'd just be the dirty fuel. Like it sat... It done that car show on that, then it sat at home. So the fuel that's in it would be um, stale. So a good run today and tomorrow. I'll probably drive it to work again tomorrow. Run the tank right down and put some fresh fuel in it and she'll be all right. It's just dirty fuel. Nothing to worry about, guys. Nothing to worry about. Um, it'd be sad. Okay, um, I love the 90s VN. Um, go the blower motor. It's old in Bundaberg. Always love the cars. Phoenix Red, that's the go. Uh, um, you still want it, do you, Jono? A lot of money, mate. A lot of money. But I don't know. I haven't bitten the bullet yet to make a decision whether I'm going to sell it or not. But we'll see where we go. Anyway, now I'm just walking around talking rubbish, so I should do some work. Thank you very much, guys, for joining in. I will see you in a couple of hours. I'll get all this in, and we'll get this motor sitting in place, and we will um, have a look at the pipes. I'll get these apart, the bolts are rusted up before, I've started soaking them with some stuff. And we'll see if we can't get the headers to sit in place. And yeah, and then tomorrow, if we can't get them to fit, we may make an idea when the captain's here, we might make a plan on looking for some manifolds or something to put turbos on it or something. I don't know. Anyway, guys. All right. See you.